is up everyone? Welcome back to another unboxing of a 1UP box. I apologize that this is not the, the air hockey table that it's usually on, but there's a reason for that. And it's simply that the air hockey table is no more and that you're gonna have to put up with this clear glass desk, which actually ends up looking a bit cooler in the end. But this month's 1UP box is, a, well it's not this month's, it's last month's because I get them late, which is totally fine, it's understandable, it's Canada, blah 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 blah. Uh, it's the power theme. So we're going to see some pretty powerful stuff. So I already opened it up with my trusty scissors. Let's get going. And right away, t-shirt's here, but we're going to leave that for a sec. We have a little Iron Man plush. He's looking a little, uh, a little angrier than usual. You know, Iron Man's eyes are usually so like neutral and stuff, but he looks really angry. Almost looks like he, uh, oh, I don't know, got into an argument with Captain America. Maybe, maybe over what's better, Sonic Adventure 1 or 2, and Cap was like, no, Tony, Sonic Adventure 1 is better because it has uh, more focus levels and stuff. And then I, I, Iron Man is like, no, Sonic Adventure 2 is better because it has you know, better levels and better music and better characters and removing stuff like fishing and all that stuff and the multiplayer is the best multiplayer in any Sonic game and then they had a huge argument, Civil War started and that's that's it. Tony of course sided with Sonic Adventure 2 because let's be see, let's be real here, Tony's the smarter one um, and Captain America is blinded by nostalgia and I may or may not be hinting at it in a future video, I just, 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 you know, whatever. Up next, though, we have, oh, it's a Cyborg from, well, I know him from Teen Titans, but from the DC Universe, and uh, looks like you can, oh, I'm not breaking this, I swear. Yeah, it looks like this is one of these figures where you can hide the body in into the head like this, and uh, yeah, so let's leave the body out, because I mean, whoa, there goes his face, because I mean, it looks better like this, and I actually... Think I don't know if it's the same brand, but I have another one of this type. Uh, you know, with the big, super big round head, and um, you can put the body on. It's a, funnily enough, Proto Man from Mega Man, which means you know then we can have two robot bros going head to head. But I don't know if they're the same because I think my Proto Man one's body is a bit bigger. He does have a shield on his back, so he looks like it's a lot, you know, nicer looking. Because it's a Comic-Con exclusive for my one friend who went to Comic-Con and got it for me, thank you, Carson. He was in a Sonic Show video. I can say that name, people might actually recognize that. But uh, up next, of course, we have the t-shirt, which have uh, so far been awesome. And it's nice that it's not a black one. Um, the other two have been black so far. And we have, oh my god. This might be the nerdiest shirt I own now. Over 9,000, but it's Goku revealing... I actually like that, actually. The Superman? Like, normally, like, I hate Superman. Spoilers. I think he's the worst superhero. But I actually like this shirt quite a bit. Because they sort of redesigned it a bit with the, the black. It might just be shading and stuff. But that's actually really cool. I like that. I, I'm not sure about the little Clark Kent, but that's fine. No, I really like this shirt. I actually heard Jamie, who also got a 1UP uh, box, saying he's not the biggest fan of this month's shirt because he's not a Dragon Ball Z fan. And I said, well, I'm a Dragon Ball Z fan, so there's that. And uh, I guess I could also hint at, I am looking into making a video, I probably said this in another video, a video on the parallels between Sonic and Dragon Ball Z, because there are many, so that would fit nicely if I do an on-screen portion, I can wear that. That's cool. I like that shirt quite a bit. Every shirt so far has pleased me, so that's good. And, uh, what is this? A puzzle! Well, it is of Kylo Ren from Star Wars Episode 7 The Force Awakens in theaters December 18th, 2015. But, um... I haven't done a puzzle in... 15 years, I'd say. Um... I don't know, maybe I'll put it together. We'll see. I mean, the art, as you can see, is just like the, the art, but you know what? You know what I can do? And this is going to sound terrible because I kind of say this with everyone. This would be a good gift for, I have a little cousin, he loves Star Wars, a good stocking stuffer, you know? He'll enjoy that. I'm, I feel I'm a bit too old to do puzzles, just personally, and yet the plush is fine by me, so. Eh. And, uh, ooh, there's still more. 
What is this? Oh, an air freshener with a Harley Quinn on it. Now, I know some people are like, oh my god, air fresheners, what, this is no use. Um, I like air fresheners. I think they're, they're a nice, a cheap addition, but they're nice nonetheless. You put them in your car. Now, here's the problem. I don't have a car, so, um... Uh, this might, I might secretly put this into my dad's and see see if he notices. We'll see. It's nice though. I mean, it's it's just, it's just a piece of scented cardboard, but you know what? I will, I'll take it. Because, I mean, hey, you know, don't look a gift Vegeta in the mouth, I say, as we get our little, little one, you know, got. Um, so wait, we got... Goku mixed with Superman, but now we got Superman mixed with Vegeta, and I don't even know who that is. In is that supposed to be Green Lantern? I'm not sure. And there's Stormtroopers and the guy who is slower than Sonic, and we got Batman, and we got Cap, and we got Hulk, and okay, pretty cool. I don't want to spoil the last thing in down here. Uh, well, first off, our next little button featuring again uh, the character that is out of focus right now. Let's try that again. There we go. Again, slower than Sonic, of course. And uh, the last thing is a, uh, a sticker. Now, I don't have much use for stickers, but um, it's actually a really nice one. I might put that on uh, maybe my PS4 over there, just put it on. And people will be like, why have you ruined your PS4? And I'll say, Bagoku. Um, that sounds like a really bad thing, Bagoku. Sounds like a weird act that would be illegal in several countries. Um, alright though. That's this month's one-up box. One-up crate. One-up box. It's, uh, it's a good one. Mostly because, again, I love the t-shirt. It's, it's, it's nice. Um, actually, I think I, did I miss anything? Nope. Cool, let's just double check. Let's read the descriptions of stuff. So we got, uh, Funkos, which, uh, my my good pal Fuad despises every single one of um, so, but I think that's okay. That looks, I mean that that looks at least enough like Iron Man that it's okay. Some Funkos you get and you're like I can't even tell what you're supposed to be. So we could have got any of these characters. I would have preferred. Well, you know what? I'm pretty happy with Iron Man. I'm not gonna lie. Um, we could have got one of these DC buildable buildable figures. They're all DC, so you know what? I'll, I'll, I'm happy with Cyborg. Out of all these, Cyborg's my favorite, so that's good. We got the uh, Star Wars puzzle, and we could have got... I'm glad we got Kylo Ren and not Stormtrooper, because that's so generic. Dragon Ball sticker, our scouter says this sticker is over 9,000. You know, there's there's many other lines in Dragon Ball, guys, that, that you could have used there. There's so many. Harley Quinn air freshener. That was the sound of my air freshener going off automatically. Some say Harley smells powerfully like crazy. Have you seen her with that hammer? But this air freshener smells like apple, Mr. J. He sounds good. A Dragon Ball sticker. That's, oh, we already said that. Uh, over 9,000 shirt. Power up your shirt game with two of the most powerful characters in all of geeky history. Who do you think would win in a fist fight? Okay, if we're going to say in a fist fight, that's different. Because Goku's fists are probably... could If it's just fist to fist, hand to hand, I think Goku could win. But you see, Superman is super cheap and can just make up superpowers. Well, no, because Superman was able to pull planets, which is so stupid. Superman is dumb, therefore he loses. Boom, Goku wins. And, um... We can get the chance to win a PS4, or no, yeah, PS4 Batman Arkham Knight bundle. Okay, so here's the thing. I, I have a white PS4, and like, I'd love to get a new faceplate, but like, they don't sell them in North America. They only sell them in Japan, and that's dumb. I want to get a cool, cool faceplate like that. But they're exclusive to bundles, and only in Japan, and like, the ones that aren't. Like, there's JoJo ones in Japan, and that makes me mad, because I want a JoJo PS4. But enough about that. Thank you all guys for watching, and uh, once again, uh, I hope you have a over 9,000 day. Thank you all for watching, and see you next time.